What's up everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel Chess Doctor here with yet another banger and in today's banger we have something very very special Today I played chess with the one and only Witty Alien, the creator of Alien Gambit and many many brilliant moves, okay? So we played 10 bullet games, uh, we were chatting on Discord and I filmed it all, but of course I have a very bad laptop and it didn't film a singular thing, so I have to like review it like this, okay? So thank you Witty so much for playing with me, I enjoyed it so much and I'm just like very happy that we did this. And let me just show you the games, okay? I'm sad that I can't show you the live reactions that we had because they were priceless, but it is what it is, life has to move on, okay? So it's game number one, we played on leeches, by the way. My rating in bullet is not 1200 as it is here. On chess.com it's 600, okay? So uh, this was like chess beginner versus chess master, honestly. So first game I get the white pieces, I play d4. And uh, he goes with the angle on gambit. I was like, okay, I just snatched the pawn. So he goes here, I snatch another pawn. And I just like to snatch pawns, okay? So I develop the horse, he does as well. And then I go with e4, uh, which is obviously a huge mistake because he can just take here. And I was like, oh, but he didn't. He didn't. And I was like, thanks, sir, thanks. So I push the pawn and he still can just like take or take. Uh, and I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm losing the game. So he took here. I was like, dang. So I, I still traded up uh, the horses and uh, he didn't take back. He actually let me have some advantage here uh, because like the dude is confident, okay? <laughs> like my rating is not so good. So I, I couldn't do much here, even though I was up a horse or a pony. And he goes here to pin my pony. So I go with uh, F3. And then we have this, the bishop attacking my queen. And I was so confused about this move. I barely noticed that this was happening. So I just moved my queen up. I gladly noticed it. And then we exchange pieces here. And he takes a pawn with the check. I go back with the bishop to protect myself. Probably should have moved a king because like this, I just gave the piece. And I here gave the queen because what else can I do? And then I just wanna, I wanna, I gave the queen for the rook and a bishop, okay? So we're equalish now, he's plus two, uh, but I'm still pretty much losing because my king is very unsafe and my pieces are very undeveloped. Uh, I attack the queen, she just grabs this for free. So I go here, uh, he grabs this for free as well. <laughs> and then I ask a horse a question, even though I'm already down four points of material and I shouldn't really trade pieces here. I check, I move, uh, another one. Here I, I was like, I wanna take with the horse. Then I realized it's pinned, so I couldn't actually. And then I just go king up and just pretty much uh, like trade here. Uh, ask the queen a question, she gives me a check, move the king, you know, because you have no other options. <laughs> and uh, then we just walk around until I'm I'm literally mated here and, and that's it, okay? So this was game number one and I was like, okay, this is a good start because I'm about to get adopted. I'm about to become Will Taylor's sister because he adopted Will Taylor. So I was like, I'm going to become his sister after this. So... Game number two, I get the black pieces and we play this. Here I make a huge mistake immediately giving this pawn, uh, which I noticed that I have been doing today the whole day while playing bullet because I just play knight to f6 so fast that I didn't even look at the position. He didn't take here, so I was like, okay, thank God, I take here. And then we have this. Um, okay, he's much more developed than I am, but I'm castled, so I was chilling. Uh, but of course, he's much faster than me, okay? So he asked my horse a question, I asked the bishop, and he protects it. Uh, I, I don't know why I did this. Yeah, this was a mouse slip. This was a mouse slip here, because I was like, I want to take the free bishop. And then I was so excited that a mouse slipped, and I just went to, uh, what is this, h5. But then he told me, actually, if I took it, it would have been a, a blunder. So it's better that I didn't. So I was kind of lucky with the mouse slip. And then I attack the queen. She moves. I go here to be able to develop my under bishop. He gives me a check. And I take here. Probably shouldn't have because when VT alien sacrifices a piece to you, <laughs> don't take it. <laughs> That's my only advice to people who are going to play against him. Don't take it because he, he's just brillianting you all the way, you know. I go here that that's like pretty much I'm done here. Okay, I don't know why was I going back with the horse here. 
I was confused, okay, guys? The, the rating difference is immaculate. <laughs> so we, we continued to play a game until I was pretty much eventually check and mated. Or uh, did I lose this one on time? I think... Let's see, okay? So we just danced around, yeah. And then I was check and mated, okay? So game number two, again, I was like... I'm about to get adopted, sir. I'm I'm not sure what it is here, but that I'm getting adopted. <laughs> uh, but these games were fun. So I get the white pieces for the third game. Then he plays me again, the England Gambit. I take. And he was like, I notice you like taking the pawns. And I do. I like open positions. I can't play close positions. I really can't. So whenever I have a chance to grab a pawn, I grab it. Uh, that's just beginner mindset. And uh, I actually really enjoy it. So we play this position. So far, so okay. Your chess doctor is doing well. Uh, I castle. In this game, I castled because in previous two, I didn't. And I was like, sir, I need to castle up. And then, okay. He here uh, sacrifices the bishop in order to uh, check and meet. <laughs> so, see, don't take. When, when he sacrifices, just don't take, okay? Uh, that's what I learned today. Uh, then the next game with the black pieces. Uh, I, I started playing Karo Khan. Why? Because I wanted to see the alien gambit, of course. I was like, I have to. You know I hate playing Karo Khan. You know I hate playing against Karo Khan. But I really wanted to play at least one game Karo Khan so that we can have alien gambit. And you can here see uh, that, of course, the results are just like alien gambit. I'm gonna lose that game. Uh, he told me that this bishop is uh, a bishop here uh, is a great move uh, that like many higher rated people actually do. So if you are playing against alien gambit, see, he says that this is a good move. So just try to do this. Uh, but still he beat me because, of course, I'm clueless. I never play Karo Khan and I never know what's happening here. I just gave pieces because I was totally unaware how to defend myself from this check. And eventually I just got check and made it. Okay, so Alien Gambit won me. Uh, this was game number four. Okay, so now game number five. Uh, and now you're probably thinking, Sapa, you're getting adopted. Yes, sir, I was. I was. Okay, so D4. Uh, e4, uh, and now we have this, uh, 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 again, grabbing a pawn, defending mine, here he sacrifices the horse, so I was, I took it, and I here just went back, because this is like alien gambit for black, I think, so here, I, instead of going here, I just went on this side, because I didn't want to make the same mistake as I did in the last game, okay, so he attacks my pawn, I was like, fine, I don't care, he castled up, I can't, sadly, because I moved the king, and uh, now we just played this position. I was so weirded out. I asked the queen a question. She moves back. And now I jump here, uh, which makes zero sense. This move makes zero sense. He can just take here or take here. And I, I can't pretty much do anything about it. But he didn't take here. First gave me the check. Then he took the bishop. Then I moved the king up. And then, then he gave me another check, then I moved it here. <laughs> so I was just getting bullied here with all of these checks. Look at this, look how many checks. This was actually, I think, a good move, uh, but he can still pass through like this. I moved a rook for no reason, and here I took this because we exchanged these pieces, and I was like, I'm gonna sack it. And he was like, oh, you're gonna sack it? Yes, sir, I was gonna sack it because I see him sacking it, so... Uh, why shouldn't I try it as well, you know, but it was, it wasn't so good, I thought here, uh, after he moved the bishop, um, it, it wasn't a mate, but here, I really thought it was mate and just gave my queen, and after that, my time ran out, okay, so, it was close, it was kind of close, but uh, still, you know, I lost the game, next game, uh, which is game number, what is this, uh, I think six, and here we played this, uh, and here I do the same thing, I completely give the pawn, now I take here because he didn't take and I was like, okay, I have to save the pawn, at least exchange it, you know. Then we have this, uh, and uh, he has a nice center, uh, I mean, I'm doing fine currently, you know, I can't really complain, uh, but it is what it is, this pawn can easily be taken here, okay. So he does it after I castle up and I attack the bishop, trade it up here because... I was like, okay, I'm gonna take the bishop, I don't know why. Here I pinned the knight, and here we exchanged the pawns. Uh, he didn't want to take back here, that's what he told me, because he really doesn't want to exchange the queens. And we agreed upon that we don't like exchanging queens, so we were just looking at each other here. We both don't want to exchange the queens. Uh, so we go like this, okay. And here I was pretty much, he even moved the king. 
the dude moved a king okay sir the dude moved a king and i was i couldn't do much <laughs> i couldn't do much he gave the rook and then after that i was just checking mated okay so uh it is what it is <laughs> and now i play e4 in on game seven i play e4 is this game seven i think it is okay because i don't know how to count guys i don't know how to count but this game I play e4 which is very unusual for me because I I haven't played e4 in a long time so here I take I take again because I like taking pawns I take again and then I continue playing chess uh, like this and then I move the pawn and uh, I asked the bishop for a trade he didn't want us so I traded here and now I just jump with the horse. This move took me a lot of time because I was just like so weirded out where should my horse go <laughs> then I have this and he could have just pinned me here uh, but instead he gave me the check and then we uh, then he just grabbed the horse because he didn't want to exchange the queens uh, and now we have this check I was so afraid of, about getting pinned but uh, I think he was uh, going a little bit easier on me in this game okay uh, then I jump with the horse and just completely give it okay because it's stressful to play a higher rated player <laughs> and uh, now we just have this take the pawn uh, untalks me here and I just give the queen and here uh, you know the game is being done okay that's pretty much it that's that's pretty much it I just gave the queen gave the game and that's it uh, but it was it was marvelously fun okay next game me with the black pieces playing this uh, the Petro and now he gave me the queen and I almost mouse it because he wants to be generous and, and make this a fair and square game and I was so grateful for it but I almost didn't take it I almost mouse slipped not taking the queen and I was like okay I took the queen and now I, I had to like win up a queen which seems very easy right wrong <laughs> wrong because when you're playing against um, somebody who is so much higher rated than you and somebody who plays you so much more chess than you for a longer time y you can be up a king and still lose okay <laughs> so we played this game i castled here and i thought i was safe but of course i never was uh, I tried my best, you know, I was trying my best, I was developing the pieces, I was exchanging when I could and when I should. Uh, this wasn't the best move he told me and I agree because I just gave it, okay, I just gave it. Uh, then we have this and then I took this pawn and I think that the killer move here would just be this, right? Because how are these bishops gonna defend it? Oh yeah, but the queen is defending this one, oh, oh see okay okay doesn't matter <laughs> let's move on uh, and now we have this and here i was just like okay i'm gonna ignore this pawn uh but he here he took i took with the bishop uh he just took my knight because i gave it again and now we have this i i took this horse which wasn't the best because he has this and then i moved the king like why move the king i don't know uh and after this i just gave the queen <laughs> I just gave the queen and here my time ran out, okay? I just gave the... I gave so many queens to him today. That was crazy, okay? Uh, game number nine. Me with the white pieces. Playing d4. Again, the angle and again taking all of the pawns possible. And then playing chess. Uh, we have this, okay? Again, doing the this move. I mean, the, currently in this position, this move is actually fine pinning me and trading the the bishop and a horse we have this and now i went here with the queen i don't know why i honestly don't know why uh, i offered a trade which he took and we didn't trade queens because as i said we both don't like it so i was actually enjoying to uh playing ag against somebody who doesn't like to trade queens same as i don't because then i know that like if our queens are staring at each other there won't be a trade which is good which i actually really like that so we have this the chess is being played and now here i grab this pawn which is i, I was like okay i can maybe win this game because i grabbed this pawn and i honestly after this i thought this was checkmate i was so blind but he can move the way here and i don't have a light square bishop of any kind and here i just i just lose by checkmate okay so that's nine games out of 10 that I lost but look at the game number 10 okay here Zappa your chess doctor gets the black pieces and we play 
e4 e5 then we have this bishop and the horse and the horse okay and you know what that means in your tapa tapetis book we're gonna play the goat opening we're gonna go with e5 and goat opening is something that i really really like because it's just like very tricky and here i think he pre-moved castling so i just won the bishop okay i just straight up won the bishop but in the couple of games ago i won the queen on move three and couldn't win you know so this didn't really determine anything to me so he goes here, I give this pawn, I didn't care, I defend the bishop, uh, we have a rook here, and then I castle, and I was like, okay, this is game number 10, we agreed upon 10 games, I have to win now, because this is my last chance, I was beaten 9 times, okay, uh, check and mated and flagged, <laughs> so now it's my time to shine, he grabs this pawn, and I jump with the horse, offering a horse trade, he didn't take so I take, because this was a free horse here, and then he moves the queen, because the queen was, of course, under a question. I jump here to ask the rook a question, and he moves here. I was like, oh, my horse is under an attack, but it's not, because these horses are connected, and they're just being the best of the friends who are holding hands together. So when I realized that, I was, like, very happy. So I asked the queen a question instead, and she moves on another side of the board. My king is not there, white king is not, not there. So I was like, okay, I feel a little bit safer to play now, okay, because the queen is kind of not in the game. Then I have this, which I think was a great move, honestly. I really enjoyed playing this move. And now we have this. He asked my bishop a question. So I was like, okay, I moved here to ask the rook a question. And I was so scared that he just gonna do this. Uh, but I think I can like sack of some sort here and then just like threaten maybe mate here with the queen. I don't know. But he didn't he didn't do this, he did this instead. So I just grabbed this and he grabbed the bishop and then I gave him uh, I, I grabbed the pawn back. I should have just immediately gave the check. But this is a 600 mindset, okay? And uh, now he moved a queen. I took here with a check and this game is pretty much over, guys, because I just won the game. I just check and mated with the alien himself. So out of 10 games, I won only one, but that game, I'm gonna frame it and put it up in my wall, okay? Because... I, I, I was so scared, guys, I was so shook when I saw that I actually check and mated the alien gambit man, I was so confused, but it actually happened, okay, here it is, here is the game, I check and mated with the alien, and that was just insane, so these are the games, out of 9 games, I lost. The tent was won and I was so proud of myself. So I, I just think that I'm definitely underrated in chess because after managing to do something like this, I think that only sky is the limit for me, okay? I think that I, if I practice and if I play a lot, I can actually become a very good player and I'm just so grateful that I play today uh, with you, with you, because I managed to prove myself that I can actually do this and that uh, I can actually, like, uh, if I try my best and if I focus up, I can actually, like, beat higher rated people. I mean, probably it wasn't just, like, me. He, he kind of messed it up here and maybe didn't calculate it right. So that's probably why I won as well, but... I'm so proud of myself, okay? And I hope you are, guys, as well, because uh, I can't believe I did this, okay? I can't believe I did this. So, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Ten games were reviewed today, so I'm kind of out of breath. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching these games. I hope you're proud of me. And thank you so much, Viti, for playing these games with me. I enjoyed them so, so, so much. And I just had an incredible time. Uh, and I'm just glad that we, we got to do this and that uh, we're friends like this, you know. I'm happy that we can play chess like this and have fun. And I'm just, I'm just stoked about this, okay? So, guys... Uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave some comments. Let me know your thoughts and feelings in the comment section down below. Uh, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you already aren't. If you're new here, hi. Uh, and uh, make sure to check out the description if you want to join the Discord or maybe donate me for some new laptop so that I can actually film uh, normal videos and don't have to have situations like this uh, where the footage is just non-existent, okay? So if you want to donate, uh, link is in the description, okay, guys? So that's it from your chess doctor. I hope once again you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching these games. I enjoyed them so much. I was this close to getting adopted. I was this close to getting adopted and becoming Will Taylor's sister, but I'm not.
I beat with the alien. I managed to check and meet him. So I'm actually very happy. I, I wasn't adopted, okay? I wasn't adopted. That's crazy to think about, okay? That's crazy. So guys, that's it. Have a wonderful day. Keep on smiling. And thank you so much for stopping by once again. I will see you all tomorrow in a new video. And <coughs> that's it. Love ya. Bye-bye.